Hey friends, it's Ramona, welcome back. We're here for some empties. Not a whole lot of empties. I was out of town for several days um, last week, or this past week, I guess, this week. And uh, so this is what we have. So for nails, this was not on very long. It is a World to See, which is kind of like a light, turquoisey, minty, bluey-ish color. And then on top of that, in a few on a few nails was this overlay called Mermaid You Look. So that's an overlay, not so you don't get the white part of it. You only get the the black fish scales on top of that. So that was a combo. And um, uh, okay, I just when I was. I just finished kind of rearranging, not rearranging, but I was able to um, consolidate a couple of wax baskets. Like, I don't know if you can see, uh, what is that? I oh, can't see. Uh, anyway, so you, I'll show it to you on my melting basket. So I have four large baskets, one for coffee, and then I had three other large baskets for bags. So because I've been doing so well melting my bags, I am down to three large baskets and have an extra one, which I'll use as my melting basket because I had been using like an empty Scentsy box so I can upgrade a little bit. So anyway, as I was doing all that, I came across underneath, they must have fallen down, an old um, car bar in, it has no scent anymore, I have no idea what it was. And uh, Ella after Kiss and Ride Rolling Stop, which was Starbucks Chocolate Turtles Marshmallow Cookie Dough um, from January 22. Oh, really, really good. That might have been part of the coffee sampler that I got from Ella after. Then we'll keep going with odds and ends. I finished. Uh, this was Bonfire Beach Car Bar. Love it, love it, love it. It was super strong, lasted a long time. Same with the wax bar. And then in right now is Coastal Sunset. Then uh, for bags, I did end up finishing Chicago Outfit. So torn about this as a hoarder because it's such a great scent. I love it. Uh, it's mango, blackberry, ginger ale from Vintage Chic. But it was poured in 2017, so it's five years old. So as much as I want to keep it, the longer I keep it, the less scent it's going to have. So, which is exactly this case. So in 2017, for probably a year or two, maybe a little bit longer, super strong, loved it, no problem, probably nine or 10 out of 10 for throw. Now I would have to say it's a six, six and a half, seven-ish in that range for throw. So again, that's not on the company, that's on me. Uh, same with Princess of Monaco from VCS for 2018. Um, so good. Like, I think it's lemon and, uh, oh, it's very similar to, um, Adam. I think his new channel is Adam's Wonderful Life, I think. Uh, Adam suggested that this is a dupe or extremely close to, um, the Scentsy Bring Back My Bar, um, Lemon Chiffon something. I can't remember. And after when he said that, it's like, oh yeah, it is. Uh, but anyway, so that went into my club, so I'm good there. Then uh, from um, DD Wax Melts from Hobby Lobby in the US, I melted Kona Coffee, strong and smooth with a robust richness. And that is what it is, just strong black coffee. I love this. I love this straight up, just as it is. And then from the bathing garden, I melted Spring Fling, which is sunny citrus blend with coconut frosted cupcakes. I got the citrus, I got the coconut, I did not get the cupcake note, which was kind of disappointing. Then I melted Huckleberry Wreath. I was just, I wanted something different to melt, so I pulled Huckleberry Wreath, which is crimson red currant, huckleberries, and frosted fur. So clearly it's a winter scent if you're, you know, a seasonal melter, um, you might not have melted it now. I'm, I kind of go back and forth, seasonal one day, and then the next day my, I'm a mood melter. So this day I was a mood melter for sure. Uh, Lush Gardenia is the scent of the month. Uh, no, 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 sorry. 
Scentsy Saturday scent going up July 2nd. I'm not sure when this is gonna go up. Maybe I could do it the July 2nd after. Anyway, it's the scent of the month. It's Scentsy Saturday for this Saturday. There's still some left. I'm not gonna finish it. It's way too strong for me. It's a strong floral with a heavy powder note with it. And maybe that powder note is authentic to a real gardenia, um, but I didn't care for it. Be fabulous. Oh, I, I can read the scent notes because I have them right there. No, I don't. Uh, Be fabulous is also Scentsy Saturday. Lemoncello, ruby grapefruit, and sugared musk. This one I love, very heavy on the grapefruit. So if you like grapefruit scents, be a fabulous. Um, vitamin R, relax. Bright bergamot, smooth vanilla, and warm amber. I really like this. This is very similar, I would say, in the same lines as Cozy Cardigan, which is coming up. Just kind of warm, relaxing, sultry. I really enjoyed that one. And finally, we have Cozy Cardigan. Uh, soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. I love this one. This one was my go-to, or one of my go-to bedroom scents. I have a separate basket just for bedroom nighttime. Just kind of warm, cozy things like this. Um, and it was in my club for a long, long time until uh, Corduroy Cardigan, uh, Corduroy and Cardigan, no, Corduroy and, I think I would know this by now. Um, frig. It's one of my favorites, and I can't remember it right now. You know what I mean. It's in my club. So this came out, and the cardigan one went in. Uh, the, car the corduroy one went in. <laughs> so silly. Anyway, um, so that's it for empties. Not a lot, as I said, but... Um, I will be picking a new melting basket, um... And probably I have a bunch of videos to upload. I'm just trying to decide what order they need to be uploaded in so it makes sense. But, you know, rarely does anything I do make sense anyway. So it doesn't really matter. No, probably not. Okay, that's it for now, folks. I am going to keep on trucking here with some videos and I will see you soon. Bye.